So let's look at modern physics and zero-point energy. What we have in zero-point energy theory is traditional physics, which is what I would like to call a Newtonian-Einsteinian theory. This theory uses fudge factors and the mythology, such as the lack of an ether, to bring forth the reasons to pretty much remove what zero-point energy is from their concept of reality. But there's another science. This science says specifically that string theory and all the things related around it and all the things that are basically a part of modern physical theory are wrong. And that we have a science of growing consciousness, a science that says that zero point energy is this consciousness, and a science that says we need to look beyond Einsteinian or even quantum physics and create another physics. A physics of a fractal, a physics of a vortex science, a physics that looks at this whole process in a different way and sees consciousness and what we might call the non-material realities as being a part and expands physics to include all of that. That's the part that I kind of I feel more at home with than the traditional science. Now, I know that as science grows and as its need for a new paradigm increases, we are going to move toward what we're talking about at the latter part, this new science that goes beyond material world, beyond even quantum's concept of the unified observer, and looks upon the concept of consciousness as being the end all and overall of it all, and combines the spiritual aspect with the physical aspect. Now, let's look at what is happening here. First of all, if you were to look at what physics measures because of Occam's razor, it looks upon everything as having to have a physical phenomenon in order to exist as a measurable item. And if it's not measurable, it doesn't exist. What we need to look at, therefore, are those inventors in the radionics field, like Royal Rife, for instance, who came forward, another one being Galen Hieronymus, another, who came forward with a giant list of vibratory answers to what this energy is and were able to actually measure it. So what we need to do now is to move away from looking at anything that's non-physical as being immeasurable and non-existent and looking towards something that can be measured, that has been measured, and that will be able to be utilized by people so that they can create a new science. I like to call it the science of consciousness. And this is where we have to go. Because this is something that we need right now, is to move to a period and a reality where physical science meets spiritual science, and we create a hybrid, which I like to call a science of consciousness.